Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. Today I'll be demonstrating a stacked ring pour. Last night I had an idea and I wanted to experiment because, uh, you know, this is supposed to be fun. Uh, so I stacked some ring pours uh, with a layer of white in between each layer um, and ended up with some white negative space within the pour. I think it turned out pretty cool and I hope you enjoy it. Stay to the very end for close-ups of the wet results and uh, a photo of the mostly dry results. And uh, in the description box below this video is the list of the colors that I've used and as well as the hints and tips for the technique. So uh, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what you thought and um, enjoy.
So here's the overhead view. I'm really quite happy with it. Um, these colors are fantastic together. Um, I want to go ahead and do the, the close-up before any more bugs fly into it. I just had to rescue a, a little flying creature out of it. <laughs> um, I love these, uh, these colors together. The, the pearl olive green is probably my least favorite in here, but it does add quite a bit of sparkle. I think you can see that in the camera. Um, the camera is changing the color of the turquoise to more of a true blue, but it is definitely turquoise. Um, but let's, let's just stay over here to this side. Some nice cells coming up. Lots and lots of air bubbles. I was too impatient to wait. I had this idea of something I wanted to do and could not wait. <laughs> so I sacrificed all the air bubbles in order to do my experiment. That corner is gorgeous. Look at that. I love blues and oranges together. Yum. Actually, the pearl green is better in that section there. A little more defined and layered. This section here is nice. Good cells. There's a couple of multicolored cells in there that have turned out really good. I wonder if I can get it really close without in the glare. There we go. Yeah, some really good multicolored cells in there. Look at that one right there. Very cool. That's where I dug out the, the little flying creature. Lots and lots of sparkle, so this should shine really well. I'm really happy that the white actually showed up as a line all the way around this. The center pour turned out great. And these lines are really good too. Get really close. Look at that. So pretty. Look at that shimmer from that gold. That would even make Canela Sirocco happy, I think. <laughs> all that shimmer. So oh, there we have it, our stacked ring pour. Really interesting experiment. Again, the only section that I was able to keep of the first nine ounce pour is there. We lost all of the rest of it. It's an interesting thing to learn. And when you plan out your next pour, how much of your pour you're losing by tilting it out. Because this whole big section right here was five ounces of paint. And look at how much of the canvas it takes up. It's very interesting. Anyway, I hope everybody enjoyed. Thank you very much for sticking around. Uh, the, um, uh, hopefully this will be dry in time uh, for the video. Uh, but if not, then I will post it on all of the Facebook groups <laughs> and on my Instagram page. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you again here sometime.